As a parent parent, we want to make sure that our birds are sleeping well and getting sufficient rest. We cannot function properly without sleep and the same goes for our birds. In this video, I'm going to go over what is normal in terms of sleeping times, lengths, conditions, positions, and more. Welcome back to the channel, my poodle and parrot pals. And if you're new here, welcome. If you're a dog or parrot lover, you've come to the perfect place where I share lots of dog tips, parrot tricks, and dang, a lot of cuteness. Having healthy, happy birds is not just about having a healthy diet, but also making sure that they're getting proper sleep each night. When your bird has enough sleep, they have a stronger immune system, and it ensures that they wake up each day full of energy with a good mood. Are you in a good mood? Mwah. Do you have a good mood every day? Well, yes, you do. The first thing let's go over is how do parrots sleep and what is normal? What are their normal sleeping positions? Parrots typically will sleep with one leg raised. They might tuck it into themselves. However, they might also sleep in different positions as well, but it is more common for birds to sleep with one foot up and one foot perched. And occasionally, but very rarely, you might find baby birds that sleep on their backs. We actually caught Mango sleeping on his back a few times. And the first time I had a panic attack because I thought something terrible had happened to him, but he was just catching up on his Z's. So it is possible, but it is rare. It is also rare to catch your bird sleeping with both of their feet perched up. And if they're sleeping like this regularly, then it might be a good idea to go check in with your avian vet and just make sure that you rule out any sorts of illness because this can be a sign of a sick bird. When they're too weak to perch up on one leg, that's when you'll usually find them in a position where they're perched up sleeping on both legs. P.S. Parrots are also capable of sleeping with one eye open. Birds sleeping with one eye staying open is exhibiting something known as slow wave sleep. This is when a bird can keep half of its brain alert while the other one rests. This is crucial for birds in the wild because it allows them to rest while staying on guard and predators will have a harder time sneaking up on birds that are only half asleep. The moment a bird senses that there is a predator around, then they can wake out of their slumber and fly away. If your parrot isn't in any danger in your home, they are more likely to sleep with both of their eyes closed and be able to get a deep, restful sleep. Now, another really cute thing is that parrots only sleep with both eyes closed when they feel completely safe. As we talk about sleep, Mia is getting sleepy. Now let's talk about how you can ensure that your parrot is getting a restful sleep every single night. Apart from feeling anxious, parrots may become aggressive and irritable when they are lacking sleep and feeling tired. So ensuring that your bird is getting a good night's sleep is essential for their happiness, their health, and their overall well-being. So the first thing is you want to make sure that your bird is getting 12 hours of uninterrupted sleep time every single night. Most parrots function on a 12 hour sleep cycle from dusk until dawn. Species originating from the tropics have a 10 to 12 hour long sleep cycle. Some species may need up to 14, but the general rule of thumb is 12 hours. Leave your parrot alone while it sleeps. The more time it spends in uninterrupted sleep, the faster it will enter a REM sleep cycle, which is a much deeper level of rest and important for their overall health. So the second thing is making sure that your bird has a sleep cage or designated sleep area where their cage goes. Parrots can get frightened and startled awake at sight sounds and movements. So it's important to have a sleep cage for your bird or move their cage to a location in your home where they can be alone and have that dark, quiet time. 
For example, we have two bedrooms and in our previous home, we also had two bedrooms. So we always designate one of those rooms to be our bedroom and the other room is designated to something else like an office space during the day. And in the evening, that's where our birds would go to sleep. So in this case, Mia sleeps in there at night and we do have a second cage, which is her sleep cage. And she has that room to herself at at night where it is quiet and dark and she can have that uninterrupted sleep time. If you have a secondary sleep cage for your bird and they're not too keen on going in there, you can start by serving their dinner in there so that they have something to look forward to and it's somewhere that they want to go because they're getting food in there. Now, usually for dinner, you're going to offer your bird a high quality cold press pellet. And another thing that you can also do, which is what we do with Mia, is offer them a small treat when they do go into their sleep cage. So when Mia goes into her sleep cage, we give her a little piece of a walnut or a little piece of almond because those are her favorite. And that way she associates going in there as a good thing. Now, a disclaimer alert here, please do not take your bird to bed with you. I've heard of people sleeping with their birds in their beds and it is just extremely unsafe and it is really unnatural. I do have a quick blog on that topic and I will link it in the description below if you're interested in reading more about that. Thirdly, you want to make sure that it is dark. Darkness is important for our parrots to sleep soundly. Birds like parrots can relax better when their environment is dark and quiet. The majority of parrots are tropical or subtropical, meaning they live near the equator where they get 12 hours of darkness every night. So you want to make sure that you're turning off the lights wherever your bird is sleeping in your home. And you also want to make sure that you're also covering them or making sure that you have blackout curtains just so that there is complete darkness for those 12 hours. A cage cover is great to let the bird know when it's time to prepare for bedtime and wake up in the morning when it's taken off. A cover can also keep out visual stimuli that may cause night frights, such as shadows and things like that. You can use a dark towel or blanket to cover the cage or specially made covers for bird cages. We use a black or dark bed sheet and I ordered this specifically for Mia for her cage. I chose it because of the size. I needed something big enough for her cage and I also wanted to make sure that it was dark so that she had complete darkness. It also shelters your bird from any ambient light that is in your home and it allows your bird to sleep without any drafts. Sometimes covering your bird's cage might also encourage hormonal behavior because it creates nesting behavior, but at nighttime they should be tired and it shouldn't make them feel hormonal. Although if you're covering them during the day or when you want them to be quiet and things like that, it can encourage that hormonal nesting behavior. So you do want to avoid that during the day. If noise and light are not a problem, you can experiment leaving your bird uncovered for a few nights to analyze its reactions. If your bird appears to like being uncovered at night, then it is acceptable to leave it that way. However, if your bird appears agitated or begins to exhibit signs of stress, crankiness, or its behavior changes in some way that is not normal, the best thing to do is to keep it covered at night. I do also want to add that if you are using a cage cover, just make sure that the cover is not completely covering the cage because you want to always make sure that there is good airflow. And you also want to make sure that they're not able to reach through the bars of their cage to chew on the cage cover because we don't want them chewing, destroying, making holes, and just ingesting any fabric. The next thing is that we want to set a sleep schedule for our birds. In the wild, they would be governed by the sun as they would go to bed with the sunset and wake up with the sunrise. Because we took them from the wild and made them pets in an artificial environment with no direct access to the natural sunlight, birds are often confused about what time they should sleep and wake up. You can follow nature and put your bird to bed at sunset and wake them up at sunrise, but you can also adjust this to your schedule just to make sure that you're able to work around your work schedule, spend time with your bird, while also making sure that they're getting their 12 hours. 
Some people also work nights, so it's a lot more difficult to put your bird to bed at night and then have them out during the day when you're sleeping. So you can adjust it. So for example, your bird schedule could be six to six or seven to seven or eight to eight or nine to nine. If you work later, you can put your bird to bed from 12 to noon to match your schedule and things like that. You also want to ensure that your bird has perches in their sleep cage because that's where they're going to perch up and sleep for the night. Birds do not need a bed. Parrots are perfectly content to use perches for their sleeping, so expect them to stick to that. It is important to place different levels of perches in their cage, but the perch that would most likely serve as their sleeping quarters is the perch located on the highest part of their cage. Any type of wooden perch is a good option and you wanna avoid the hard ones on their feet like the sanded perches, which are meant just for temporary perching. And another disclaimer alert, do not get sleep huts. Sleep huts actually do more harm than good and they are not ideal for our birds for sleeping. These sleep huts usually stimulate hormonal behaviors. The next thing is the area or room where your bird sleeps. You wanna make sure that you maintain a warm room temperature so they don't get too cold or too hot in the night. And you also want to make sure that the area is well ventilated. You want to make sure that where you choose to put your bird in your home at night, the temperature does not drop where it could be too cold for your bird. A cover also helps keep their cage warmer in the night. Set the temperature to a warm room temperature. You also want to have a nice happy moment with your bird before they go to bed so that they're going to bed feeling happy, relaxed, and like everything is great. And the last thing is you wanna make sure that your bird has fresh, clean water available to them in the night and some type of dry food and anything else that your avian vet might recommend. Now, as part of our evening routine, and this is something I do every single night, is I make sure that I change Mia's water in her sleep cage so it's fresh and clean, and I always make sure that she has some kind of dry food available because sometimes she gets hungry in the night and she goes to have a little bit of a munch. So in there, I put Harrison's pellets and just oats. Another quick thing that I wanna talk about is sleep sounds. Now, birds do have different sleep sounds. Some parrots will make noises while they are asleep. Typically, the vocalizations coming from a sleeping parrot are on the softer side, and they may also grind their beaks as they're going to sleep. They may also make some noise or scream when they are ready for bed, and they're trying to let you know that it's time for bed, put me to bed, good night. Now last but not least, let's go over the signs of sleep deprivation in birds. If your parrot is experiencing any of these symptoms, then it might be a good idea to try and increase their sleep. Biting, aggressive or territorial behavior, prolonged molting, feather plucking, and excessive vocalization. Sleep for parrots is really important. How much they sleep, where they sleep, how they sleep, all of these things are really important and essential for their well-being. So that's it for today, my poodle and parrot pals. I hope that this video was helpful for you and that your birds are catching all the Zs that they need. Don't forget to like this video, comment, and subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you guys in the next video. And sleep is also just as important for our doggies. Thank you.